Sorry about that. Hey everyone, welcome to Storytime with Scarlet Spider. <laughs> Filling in for Webhead today because he's out doing his own thing. And today I decided I would talk about the day I met him. Because I've touched on it before, but I never really went into detail. So I'm going to pull out the old Marvel Encyclopedia because I need to introduce you to the guy that brought me into by decent life. Give me a second here, I gotta get to... Everyone in here is in alphabetical order, which makes it easy, but I just have to get there. Ah, here we are. <clears throat> it's this guy right here, the Jackal. Now, his real name is Professor Miles Warren. He was actually one of Peter's teachers at school. And he had developed a bit of a crush on Gwen Stacy. And when Peter failed to save Gwen from the Green Goblin, well, Professor Warren kind of went around the bend. And so he created the Jackal persona, the costume and the whole shtick to mess with Spidey while he was working on perfecting his cloning techniques. And as I've mentioned before, it took him a couple of tries before he got to me, before he got it just right. And when I, my first memory actually is waking up looking at Spider-Man while I, myself, was wearing the same costume he was. We were both in the regular red and blues. And the Jackal told us that our friend, his friend, Ned Leeds, was tied to a bomb. And the bomb was designed so that only the real Spidey could deactivate it. Now, of course, as far as I knew, I was the real one. And I didn't want anything to happen to Ned. And Peter knew he was the real one, and so the two of us ended up fighting. It's a real mess. Good guys should never fight each other, but sometimes we act without thinking, we jump to conclusions, or we're just so eager to prove that we're right. Hi there, Kathy. Nice of you to join me. <laughs> As I was saying, uh, good guys should never fight each other, but sometimes we're just so eager to prove that we're right, that we just act without thinking. And so the next thing I know, I am in an all out fight against the other spider guy. Both of us just trying to save a friend. And what actually ended up happening was neither of us saved him. Ned survived, but only because the jackal in some weird moment of clarity came to his senses and freed Ned himself. Imagine that. After all the bad he'd done, he actually did something good. Unfortunately, he didn't stay that way. <clears throat> he came back into our lives again and again to torture us and mess with our heads. He kept lying to us about which of us was the real one. Because the truth is, even he didn't know. Norman Osborne, the Green Goblin rigged his equipment so that he would scan us wrong. So even he didn't know which of us was the original Spider-Man and which one was the clone. Identity is a tricky thing. When I got to the point of realizing that I didn't really, that I wasn't 
Peter Parker, I got stuck wondering just who I was and who I was supposed to be and what I was supposed to do about it. A lot of time passed before I adopted the Scarlet Spider look. And <clears throat> by the way, for those who don't know, I did not choose that name. A reporter, Ken Ellis, called me that because he had seen me swinging around and I didn't tell anyone what to call me. And so he just looked at my suit and that was what he came up with. I didn't even like it at first, but I grew to be cool with it. And that's sometimes some choices, if you don't make them, other people will make them for you. And sometimes, like in my case, once that choice is made for you, you're kind of stuck with it. You know, which brings me to the thing that Spidey and I keep talking about. The choice about being safe and wearing a mask. Not going out when you don't have a real need to. And not gathering in crowds. Now, a lot of us miss the old days when we could just go where we wanted and do what we wanted. I know I do. But you have to be smart. You have to be smart and you have to be safe. The thing about this COVID situation is it doesn't care about your feelings. <laughs> it doesn't. The only way that you can be safe from it is to play by the rules. And it's important to be safe from it. Because even I can't swing in and rescue you from it. So, again, be smart about what you do. Because with great power comes great responsibility. And every time you make a choice, you are exercising power. So you have the responsibility to do what's right. And that's all the time we have for today. I will be back soon, but you'll probably see Spidey before then. I think he's off doing something with the Avengers again. One of these days, maybe they'll invite me. Last time we talked about it, Captain Marvel said, well, we don't need both of you. And I'm thinking, well, why can't we just take turns? I don't know, but we'll see. Anyways, until next time, be smart, be safe, and Excelsior! Wherever there's a